my two cents, motherfucker. What up, y'all? DC Fago guy. So there's been a new post from Insane Clown Posse on Facebook about an added VIP to the Malenko tour. And it's got a lot of people, not really pissed, but a lot of people giving a hard pass, saying, nah, I'm good. And this really spurred up a thought that I've had in the past, and it never really went away. So let's talk about it. All right, so that's the VIP packages. Obviously, it's become a thing. Years ago, not really. It's only within probably, what, the last five to seven years, I'm going to say in that area, that it's really kind of become more popular with a lot of the underground artists that a lot of Juggalos follow. Tech 9 was one of the first ones I really noticed doing it. And actually, oddly enough, that's the first VIP experience I've had is was for the Tech 9 tour back in 2012, the Hostile Takeover tour. And really, for that, that was worth it. $150, you got about $300 worth of merchandise, all kinds of fucking goodies inside of there. And you got a ticket to the show. You were put on basically a guest list, if you will. And when you went to the actual ticket booth at the venue, you then got your fucking ticket to attend the show. Your ticket was included. Then I remember they started doing the VIP. For me, I noticed it with ICP and Psychopathic Records for the American Psycho Tour. So what that included, you paid, what was it, $100? You got uh, a fucking a VIP laminate. You got a DVD, a t-shirt. I believe a CD came with it. I don't think the DVD was out there. I, I might be incorrect. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what it came with because I don't. I don't even fully fucking remember. But it did not include your ticket to the show. When I remember seeing this, and I was like, okay, that's not really worth it. And then you had Twisted, who started doing more VIPs. ICP also started doing more VIPs, but none of them included the ticket to the show you still had to buy that separately so it actually technically came out to about 130 dollars depending on where you go let's just say 130 let's just say tickets are about 30 bucks a piece that's kind of the area that they they range in i know for me two tickets is about it's anywhere from from 60 to 80 dollars depending on fees and shit like that so so basically now you're paying $130, and let's suppose you have somebody else who wants to come with you. Of course, that number only goes higher. But what you really only get is a couple pieces of merchandise, the meet and greet, and ICP's been doing really good about letting you come on stage and do the Fago Armageddon, which is fucking, it's an awesome once-in-a-lifetime experience. But overall, does that price, does all that package for that price, is it worth it? I've always kind of said no. It, it took a really significant tour for me to really even show interest in the VIP. Now, I've here recently thought about going and hitting the VIP for the Great Malenko tour. I mean, it's Great Malenko. What a what a significant monumental tour to go on. I mean, 20 years ago is when ICP was introduced into my life, you know, through my sister starting to listen to them. It was Great Malenko, or I should say more specifically, Pass Me By. That was the song that made me start listening to ICP myself. So to be on stage during that song would be huge, which that occurred 15 years ago. But on top of that, the exact date of the Great Malenko Tour being October 27th, which my very first ICP concert was October 27th of 2007 when I saw them at Hollow Wicked in Noblesville, Indiana that year. So at 10 years from my first concert, 15 years since I discovered IC or started listening to ICP myself through Pass Me By, which I would be on stage for, and the 20 year mark of when ICP entered my life, it's like so many significances that makes me say yes. But, you know, ultimately, uh, right now, financially, that's not going to play out. I mean, so that most likely is not going to happen. But this is one of the times that I strongly have considered doing VIP because it just ultimately hasn't seemed worth it to me. You pay the $100. Yeah, you get a few uh, pieces of merchandise. You get a meet ICP, which is fucking huge enough. You get to be on stage during the Fago Armageddon monumental life experience but you don't get that ticket. And that, to me, just every single time kills it for me. That's the one thing. Now, Twisted, honestly, has, has improved a little bit more. They do include a lot more merchandise for your VIP package sometimes. There's some tours where I see the VIP package kind of scratch my head because it's like you get several flats, 
maybe a flag, a poster, some CDs that just recently came out, which most likely people have already pre-ordered them and gotten them. So, I mean, their VIP packages, they're working on improving. I kind of see that improvement happening. But still, nobody, nobody has been able to touch Tech 9 and Strange Music's VIP package, man. They cram so much fucking merchandise into that package. You get the goddamn ticket to the show. Plus, you get to meet everybody and get autographs. It's just... It's not worth it to me. And $50 alone to go meet an artist like Light just isn't quite worth it to me. I know it is for a lot of people, but it, it's got everybody kind of like saying, no, I'm good. You know, I'm good. But that's something I've always thought about is I really wish ICP and Twisted, which I really don't care about the Twisted anymore, but the ICP, they, everybody else needs to take from Tech 9 and they need to improve on these VIP packages. I think they would see a lot more attendance in VIP. Maybe they're not wanting that. Maybe they're trying to keep it a little more intimate. Who knows? But I've always felt that the VIP experience from Twisted and ICP has not been able to touch Tech Nines. Include the ticket. That right there would ultimately make it worth it because then you're you're technically only paying like seventy some dollars for the uh, VIP because you're getting that ticket. I mean, because if, if you're not going to be at the concert, what's the point of hitting the VIP? So include that ticket. That that right there alone would significantly improve the VIP packages for me. I would be more likely to say, hey, I think I want to go VIP on this one. Because so far, Malenko Tour has been the only one that has made me go, I want to go for VIP on this. And I'm not even really wanting to go VIP for the merchandise that they're including. It's the monument of what this concert is going to be. I can only imagine if I went VIP, how memor, uh, how fucking, uh, I'm trying to think of the goddamn word here. But the memory that that concert would then carry for the rest of my life would be monumental. But ultimately, I'm not able to do it. I did have to buy tickets separate, so... But that's my thoughts on the VIP packages, and that's kind of my two cents on how they can improve them. Including that ticket alone is going to significantly increase its value to me. So leave your thoughts down below. If you've ever done VIP, what tours have you hit VIP? What was it like? And ultimately, when it was all said and done, now that it's been years later, was it worth it? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.